good friends off camera. But when it comes to competition, man, they're mortal enemies. I bring you Lynn Smith and Coy Wire, and we're in my backyard, and we're going to decide once and for all who is the grilling and chilling champion. We've got green, we've got red, and we've got Master Chef Schuler. Tell us about the competition. We're featuring Purdue fresh cut, thin sliced chicken breast, and each competitor would do four ingredients, both the same, different colors. You have peppers, mm -hmm. you have onions, mm -hmm. and you have tomatoes. And I threw in a little twist. Strawberries. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> red and green. They're all the same, but what you do with them make you different, OK? So cook from the heart, have fun. I'll be judging, OK? All right, it's on. All right. Stick shift. All right. <laughs> so Lynn, competition is all about being creative under pressure. Walk me through your program. Well, I was a little intimidated by your strawberry. Of course. How do I incorporate that into chicken? Yep. And I have a sweet tooth, so my mind's going to chocolate-covered strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> and that chocolate, that bridge, was a mole sauce. Wow. That's a great way for me to incorporate that mm -hmm. strawberry, but bring in the chocolate That's sweetness right. with a little bit of savoriness in the chilies. Love and it. then, of course, Strawberry, I didn't want to just end there. Right. I wanted to incorporate it into the marinade. Ah. And then on top is the finisher. Right. I've got this strawberry Rita salsa. It's strawberries, red onion, red pepper, a little cilantro in mm. there just to give it a little bit of extra. That is smart. So what I wanted to do was go Greek. So I took the old classic watermelon feta mint salad, right. but then I threw those grilled tomatoes first. And then the green strawberries. Oh, you got man. me with the green strawberries. <laughs> Whoever uses a green strawberry. But like you said, I love a challenge. So I pickled them, put a little agave in there, and now it's a little more sweet to go in with that watermelon. And where do you taste that? With the chicken, I wanted to keep it fairly simple. Okay. Little onion powder, little right. garlic powder, little right. salt, little pepper. Right. That was my philosophy there. You hear that, Chloe? That's me slicing the competition. <laughs> Is this charcoal? Oh, no. This looks like a Game of Thrones dragon just <laughs> torched her whole pepper. All right, you guys, time's up. All right. All right, you both cook good. Now let's make it look, look good. good. Right, time to play it up. Let's do it. Judgment time. Lynn Smith, what do you have? So this is called Holy Moly Chicken, because holy moly, how in the world did I bring this all together? And of course, I had to do a little strawberry Rita salsa, and that made me want a margarita. So here's a strawberry <laughs> margarita to go with it. Nicely done. Hope you love it. I have my Better Than Lynch chicken covered with the Smith Slayer tzatziki. And then I have my grilled, then chilled green tomato salad, and to wash it all down, a cucumber mint gimlet. So let's get down to the tasting part. OK, so Lynn, you're up. So beautiful presentation. Great job, Lynn. And I want to say, great technique with the chili peppers and cinnamon. It comes through in the flavor. Excellent Ooh. job. Master Chef, thank you. Oh, man, you ready? No, I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's go, baby. You should be. Come on. <laughs> the show still continues. Got <laughs> okay, a brand new pair of cutlery. It's refreshing. That tzatziki and that pickled strawberry comes through so strong on this plate. Ooh. Great job, my friend. Thank Ooh. you, sir. You guys both mastered this competition. But I have to give this one. Oh, oh, boy, that is oh. cold. Did you guys see Bob creeping around the corner there? <laughs> it's my backyard. Did you see backyard. him? He was, like, moral support. Yeah, was like biting his nails. Okay, yeah, no, so um, any bets here? Like, well, that's what I'm curious. So, like, did First you... of all, how was I going to win this thing? How did I get the green tomatoes and the that's green true. strawberries? Who used that? It's like, you're going to be in a race. Lynn, you get the Ferrari. Cool, you get to ride the donkey. It's a good point. I mean, there's no way I was going to win this. Very good point. But a bald dude always pays his debts. <laughs> so check out what the bet was. We're not Giddy up, Horsey. How's the how's the horse? How's it going? You good? Uh, yeah, it's no problem at all, Lynn. One baby's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to handle the sweat dripping Lachlan. down your brow. Yep. Lachlan and Ryder, they're a handful now. Lynn's cutest baby boys in the world, my goodness. And we had a good cookout. The chicken was good. The rest of my stuff was just I love it. really Listen, good. Listen, I honestly thought you were going to win. And I'll tell you, I'll give you my reason. I looked over at poor Lynn's grill, and her red peppers were en fuego. <laughs> they're on fire. I wonder Drug if they and then I topped there. off the final thing with this ash that used to be a red pepper. <laughs> but she still won. Uh, I thought that Koi was going to win. I don't think that I would describe they both looked pretty ridiculous. So anytime that you two want to come over, I've got a grill ready to go. I will go buy those Purdue I'll bring the chicken. thinly that sliced good. I'm chicken. I'm not bringing in the green strawberries or green tomatoes. No, no. Bring the average stuff. And beer. Don't forget the beer. Yeah, don't forget the beer. All right, Bob. Coy, thank you guys. Mm -hmm.